Hello, welcome to Combat Mission Red Thunder. Now following is an after-action report of the scenario Vorobling Bridgehead. To be precise, it is a Vorobling Bridgehead expanded and randomized. My opponent is Matumbel. Not sure how to pronounce the name. We write the 22nd July 1944. Operation Bacracion leads the Red Army from operational success to success. The offensive still hasn't culminated. From Kaminich, Litevsky advancing towards the river Boob, immediately crossing the river, building bridgeheads at Lodovica Voroblin, endangering the stability of the entire newly formed front. The 180 infantry regiment was tasked to neutralize the bridgeheads. The crossing enemy formations are part of the 30th Cavalry Division. The scenario is designed by John Martina, but it has to be said in advance that the briefing leaves a lot to be desired. The expanded and randomized version seems not to have an updated briefing text. It would be much appreciated to know which reinforcements are arriving and maybe even a time span when they arrive. Under heavy mortar and artillery fire, the German units move to the assembly areas. The scenario is historic non-fictional. Probably in the settlement itself is just south of the map the scenario takes place. We reach the bridgehead via three avenues, one path leads over open ground. Another one is only accessible for infantry and the third leads along the river bank and is relatively narrow in terms of space to maneuver with vehicles. So we are dealing with complex terrain. We will use all three, the main thrust leading to the conquest of the bridgehead will be along the river bank. While the open plane with the help of smoke grenades fired by the assault guns that should provide enough protection to bring us in a favorable combat position from where we can control the wider terrain and attack the reinforcements of the Red Army. and the attack starts with the first smoke grenade hitting the ground. The operation was precisely planned, which, unfortunately, one Sturmgeschütz got taken out before it could place its smoke shell, and an important part of the front is not obscured by a smoke screen, which the Panzergrenadiers will have to pay a heavy price for. But it looks worse than it was. On the ground, as the anti-tank guns were engaged and largely suppressed or taken out. To execute fire, the high explosive shells in the flank of the main advance. But the main advance at the waterline is showing first success and developments are in German favor. Enemy machine gun positions are still engaging our forces from the other side of the boot.
Reinforcements arrived for both sides. Had I any knowledge of the number of Sturmgeschütze arriving as reinforcements, I would have waited for the main attack. But it is as it is. The attack on the bridgehead has occupied the first trench from the enemy and cleared them. The concentration of the assault guns prevented an advance of strong armored forces with mounted infantry which were moving into the engagement area to relieve the almost neutralized bloodshed. Yeah, yeah. 
A further push into the enemy's depth was delayed by a misdirected sporting shell. After regrouping, the next push had more success. The avenue of approach of the main cluster of enemy infantry was, ident was identified and strike with the last available artillery support. And this was devastating effect. And here the other side surrendered. Which is fine. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Und auf Wiedersehen.